I'm Froggy, and today we are going to do a quick review of every doll room we have ever made, and still have. And we've made quite a few, so get ready. When I say doll rooms, I mean like doll houses, play sets, just large things that we built for the dolls. So I'm gonna start with one of our most popular play sets, and that is the Doll Pool One. It's got over eight million views, and it was a pretty simple craft. It looks great in all photos, and it's large enough for even our 18-inch dolls. Our Doll Beach, the kids love this one, mainly because it has real sand, and they can go crazy with it. We have had this for about a year, maybe a little bit more, and uh, the kinetic sand does start to dry out, so some of it has become just regular sand. Pool two. This one is awesome because the dolls can actually go in the water, and you can pull the whole floor pool unit out to have a backyard. This is the room in a box for a backstage dressing room with clothing racks, a large mirror, and for this box, we covered it going all the way around so that on the other side, it looks like you're outside the dressing room. Our locker room with printable lockers and functional cubbies. Two showers where the curtain can actually move. Ah! The doll art classroom. And this project is really special to me because all of the artwork in the classroom is from me and my kids. This is a painting of Little Froggy that I made um, as the Mona Lisa. This one can also turn around so you have lots of play areas on the sides. You have like a door and lockers, another locker hallway, and the restroom. Our doll theater. <laughs> With seating for 18 dolls. Let's go backstage. So of course we thought it would be fun for the dolls to be able to have a behind the scenes uh, area. So we made the backstage with little sandbags and stuff and it's just so much fun. Our martial arts and ballet studio. On this side the dolls can do martial arts and there's even like a little punching bag thing. And on this side we have ballet with a ballet bar and a large mirror for everyone to use. Our basketball court complete with stadium seating and this cool see-through backboard with a real net. <laughs> Tiana's place is really cool. It's like a huge restaurant based on Disney's animated film. The Princess and the Frog. This one has an awesome street scene to capture that New Orleans feel. And on the inside, we have Tiana's restaurant and then you can go up the stairs to an upstairs little loft apartment. The Gravity Falls of Mystery Shack. This was one of the biggest things that I've made just because of the footprint. It has a very awkward T shape, which makes it kind of uh, interesting to store. I'm a big Gravity Falls fan, and so I made this as accurate as I could with still being a functional dollhouse. On the inside, we have Mabel and Dipper's room, and then the living room, and a very small museum. Little Froggy's Pet Shop. You can remove the top and open the side. So upstairs there is a bedroom and then downstairs we have the shop so the dolls can live and work in the same place. The Toy Store, which is a great storage place for all of our tiny mini toys. Like My Mini Mixie Cues, we have some Legos and Little's Pet Shops. Our concert stage for Cast of Fears. All of the scaffolding is really cool and the lights actually work. Our log cabin. I was totally inspired after a family weekend in the mountains. This is neat because it has a porch. I love these little dollhouse porches. On the inside we have a small kitchenette, an upstairs loft, and a bathroom with a shower. This is our cozy living room with a working door. On the inside, we have a little stone fireplace. It's actually a faux stone fireplace. And a little staircase that leads to like a little loft kind of area. This is Sophie and Chloe's old living room. We just recently made them a new one. Our fun house! With a ticket booth, tunnel, and a little gift shop. On the inside, we have a ball pit a little tiny maze, and some fun mirrors. 
Cinderella's Castle. This is a project that we did for Walt Disney World Best Day Ever YouTube channel and it's on their channel so it's just so beautiful. I love this one. We can even go inside the castle. Speaking of Disney castles, this is our ice palace. It even has an ice throne. There's an upstairs and downstairs complete with ice furniture. Our skateboard shop, which is really a board shop because we even put our surfboards in it. This is a great place to store all of your fingerboards and we have made some of our own. Then there's like ramps so you can actually use them. The Treehouse. It's a two-story playhouse with a tree stump seating area with a working door and a lot of books on the inside because I was thinking of Twilight Sparkle when I made this. Our treehouse farm. One of my favorite parts about this whole project is the little hand-painted signs. And above the door of the little house, it says, notice, house elves at work. Little Harry Potter reference. This is the school that we built for our doll prom. On the inside, we have the doll cafeteria. The nail salon and spa. And this craft was divided over two videos. For the nail polish, you can actually remove the top. This is the rainforest house for 18 inch dolls. We have a grill, an eating area, and a fold down bed. And we made it so that the whole thing can fold down flat for easy storage. Our mermaid grotto with gadgets and gizmos of plenty. We have a coral reef. Photo studio. The perfect location for your dolls to take their school photos. The secret garden, where we can turn the rooms around to make different spaces. We made every single stone out of hot glue. Popsicle stick lifeguard tower. The whole thing is made out of popsicle sticks. And when I was at the beach, I saw one exactly like this. Movie screening room, where the dolls can watch Monster High every day, all day. There's a step and repeat on the side and a place to film movies on the back. The zoo, with four different habitats that can be rearranged to make a hallway. Dollhouse of cards. My favorite part of this whole house is the little archway. The grocery store. The grocery store. Um, I don't even know which set we're on at this point. We're just kind of, I don't know, what is it, like the 90th house that we've looked at? Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. This houses a lot of food that we've made in previous videos. We've made all the food in here and uh, it always falls down. So this is one of those sets where I really want to glue everything down. Minecraft room, complete with a Steve head mask for the dolls. Our beach house, where the side opens. I have plans to uh, decorate this. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. The camper, which opens up so you have full access to the inside. The Fabsome Sweet Shop. What I like about this is the candy counter that we made in a different video. The Froyo Shop with an expanding wall. Our doll classroom with a working chalkboard. <laughs> Hi! The Fashion Boutique. We used a lot of magazine cutouts for this one. Star Frog's Coffee. And I think this is a cute little corner shop. Our bakery, where the dolls can enjoy beautiful cakes. And we made it so they can walk through this doorway to a kitchen area. A little frozen fever cake, anyone? The Briar Barn, with three full-size stalls and a tack room. Our doll kitchen, where all of the cabinets and doors open. And it has this awesome bay window. Our folding cereal box rooms. We have Harley Quinn's room, our kawaii room, and the Pokemon room. Shopkins, the craft room, yoga room, glow in the dark neon lights Disney Descendants room, fast food restaurant, and rock climbing wall. Folding doll rooms are awesome because they are easy to store. Here is another take on our cereal box room where we have a balance beam, pool, volleyball net, horse jump, and school supplies. 
Stay with me. We are almost finished. This is Chloe and Sophie's living room with a staircase, which is on the back of their very big bedroom and closet. And this is all a part of a big project where we're building a very large dollhouse. <laughs> we're done! <laughs> <laughs> it took forever. I just love making doll rooms and I will continue to make more. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey,